everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday Haul. It is Friday, November 24th, Black Friday. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrated. I'm actually filming this on the day before Thanksgiving, but we're having companies starting later today for the whole weekend. So I wanted to make sure to come on uh, to you know record my Friday Haul video. It's not huge, but uh, there is some stuff that I wanted to show you and just to say hi, and I didn't want to um, leave a week if I could help it without a Friday haul video. So anyway, let's get started. I did get an order in from scrapbook, scrapbook.com. I saw that Simple Stories had a new collection that I wanted to get, and there were a few other things that I wanted as well. One of them was this uh, die set. This is by Catherine Pooler, and it's new. It's called, um, well, I'm not sure. Oh, there it is, Dots and Scallops Dies. And that's the number of it in case you're interested. Again, this is from scrapbook.com and it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dies. And the outer rectangles have the, the little dots that come, uh, that punch out of your papers. I'll show you, I did make samples. And then there's a scalloped layer as well. So. Here are the five inner ones. I used the two outer ones for a card, which I'll show you in a second. But as you can see, there are little dots that, um, that cut out. And they're not just embossed, they actually cut out. And they cut out beautifully well too, if you could see that. So it goes from this small rectangle, which is, let's see, matches my ruler. It's about almost one and a half inches, one and, let's see, um, that is seven sixteenths, I think. And then the other side is, let's see, a little bit over, let's see, one and three sixteenths almost. So a nice small rectangle, cute detail. And then the scallops are just so cute, I thought. And you can combine them in different ways. Like I said, I combined the the uh, other two into a card. So I'll show you that in a second. But these are, you know, how they progress from going from the smaller one to one of the medium rectangles. So I used some AC cardstock for the colors, pink, aqua, and yellow, just to cut them out to show you. So really pretty. And then before I show you the card, I want to show you what else I used. This was a freebie. Whoops, one part came out. These are scrapbook.com word dies, and it comes with the, the shadow for the hoe, and then this piece here that embosses the, the little stars. So cut it out three times, and you get ho, ho, ho. So I did make a card. Oh, I think my packaging has a hole in it, so it keeps flying out. Um, this is the card that I made with both of those two products. Actually, it's a card front. I don't have it attached to a card yet, but this is a A2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So those are the two um, biggest layers of that Catherine Pooler set. So, well, yeah, I'll measure the, um, the outer one or the biggest one. Uh, it's almost four inches by five and an eighth about. So it fits perfectly on an A2 size card. I love the little dots. I think that's such a nice touch. Something a little bit different than stitching, you know? And then the scallops are really nice too. I love scallops. The ho, the ho, ho, ho I cut out of um, aqua AC cardstock. And then I also cut it out of that same color foam that I got, you know, from Hobby Lobby or Joann's. Just to, just to raise it up a little bit. And then for the layering pieces, I used three different papers, a pink shimmer, a white shimmer, and a matte pink too. So you could see the stars much better on this shimmer paper. And then for the gingerbread, I added some Hobby Lobby stickers that I had embellished a while ago. I added some glitter and repainted a little bit, added some diamond dots. So I had those on hand, I just glued them on. And um, I put Nouveau drops all over the yellow part and on the corners of the aqua layer as well. And those are, I use this one, which is a jewel drop, which is kind of translucent. This one is aqua planes. And then I used a yellow from, well, a crystal drop. And this one is dandelion yellow. And then oops, I used a pink one too, I think is bubblegum blush. 
um, yes, that one I usually use for my pink. So I just had fun adding Nouveau drops, waited till that dried, and then I have this cute little card front. So I want to show you that. And I got some more stuff from scrapbook.com, of course. Uh, this was a freebie as well. This is like a Nouveau Aqua Shimmer pen, but it's a scrapbook.com brand. And this one is red. Um, it's like this color red. So I'm not going to open it now just because I probably won't use it for a while and it won't dry out if I don't open it quite yet. But that was a freebie as well as the ho 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 or ho or ho. And then I also got, let's see, I got this embossing folder I've had my eye on for a while. It's from Pink and Main and it's a six by six embossing folder. So it's a nice, good, generous size. This one is called Fun Stripes, and that's the number. I'm not sure if it's still available. I think they, it said it was running low when I did get it, but um, you know, it could be there still, or it could be on other sites too. But I love all the different um, you know, scallops and dots and stuff. So I did um, test that out to show you. This is what it looks like on some matte AC cardstock. How pretty is that, right? And you can use just like a strip of this or use the whole thing as a base of a tag or a card or something. So that's a six by six paper approximately. I just love how that looks. And you could even use the other side too if you wanted to. It's just, you know, embossed and debossed in the opposite direction as the front page. And then I did part of it on a shimmer paper as well. Well, actually I did it the wrong way. I put it on the flat paper first and then the shimmer part is like the deboss side, the you know, the other side. So that's why I put it on um, this paper as well. But I figured I'd show you this too. So it still looks pretty on both sides, I think. So there's that. And then I ordered some sequence mixes. I really like Picket Bent Studio sequin mixes. Um, I've been using them a lot in the past few seasons. Just to, I keep it on my desk and when I'm making a quick shaker, I have these available and everything is, you know, pre-mixed and just really nice combinations. This one is called a classic Christmas. So I like this because it has silver and gold. So, you know, sometimes when you're making a sequin mix, you use both of those colors. Sorry about that glare. Or you could always just pick out the silver or the gold. I do have some silver and gold, like, you know, singles, but um, not that many. So I thought it'd be nice to have the, the mix. This one is like a more traditional mix. This one is called Vintage Christmas. So this one has like kind of darker reds and greens and it looks like a little bit of taupe too. So I thought that was so pretty and that'll look nice in some shakers as well as you can use it for embellishments too. So there's that one. And then I got this one too. This one is called Santa's Cookies and it's got those cute little chocolate chip cookies that I've had in other mixes too. And it has like a uh, holographic snowflakes and it's got some bread sequins, some clear ones, some clay uh, snowflakes too, white snowflakes. So that's a cute mix, right? looks very nice and Christmassy. And I think Santa's Cookies is a good name for that. And then I got this one, which is all white and sparkly. And this one is called Crafty Friends. So it's got little scissor sequins, if you could see those. Isn't that cute? So you can use it in like your craft, you know, themed projects or, you know, take the scissors out and use the rest of them in if you're doing like a wintry kind of project. So there's white, holographic, um, looks like maybe some silver, I'm not sure, some clear. So it's always nice to have like a white based sequence mix, I thought. So we got that. And then the paper collection I wanted to share with you is called Winter Wonder. And this is from Simple Stories New Out. And I got the 12 by 12 collection kit and a couple of other coordinating pieces. So let me show you this. This is 12 sheets of double-sided designer cardstock, including cut apart element sheets and a 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet with 95 stickers. I think Simple Stories makes beautiful, well, they make everything beautiful, but their winter collections are especially nice, I think. So let's take a look and see what this one looks like. And I love the colors. They're pastels, nice and soft, but there's some navy blue mixed in too, which is, I think, a nice touch, kind of grounds it, you know, makes it too, makes it not like it's uh, too springy or anything. 
So this is the first page, and this one is called uh, Burr, Burr, Burr. <laughs> That's cute. It's got a, a pale blue background and all these cute snowmen with their arms in different positions and different hats and scarves and stuff. So there's that. And this is this side. You could cut these apart, use those as um, sentiments. That would be a great idea, right? And then the next page is Winter Wonder um, Snow Happy. So, wait, obviously Winter Wonder. The page is called Snow Happy. And that, it looks, I guess it's navy. It looks black right here, but it's probably navy. With the white snowflakes. And then this pretty plaid in the back. This will be so nice to use for, for January projects. I love this kind of like, um, you know, irregular snowballs they look like, but different colors. This one is called Chill Out. And the back is a stripe, a diagonal stripe with all the colors. How pretty is this one? This one is called Sparkle Season. It's got some like really bright, well, not bright, I would guess like ice pink, I would call this color <laughs> for the roses. And then some like uh, greenish blue pine branches and some rose leaves. It's so pretty. And that's the back, burr, 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 with the <clears throat> aqua background. Here's a pretty snowflake print with all the different colors. This one's called Chili Plus Happy. And the back is that pretty corally pink background with snowballs. Oh, this is cute. This looks like, um, oh, what's that other collection they have? Frosty something. And it's got boots and uh, ice skates, sweaters, scarves, mittens, skis. Adorable. Love that. Look at that coat with the fur trim on the hood. That's so cute. Did I say the name of this? Comfy Cozy Cuddly. And then the back is this pretty gingham, pink gingham. And then this page is really cute. This is Snuggle Up. And it's got all these cups of hot cocoa with marshmallows and whipped cream. Cute mugs. Oh, that's adorable. And that's the back of that one, kind of like a, a broken up plaid. And here are some tags. This one is called Tag Elements. So I'll show you all the different tags. Tis the season to be freezing. You make me snow happy. It's cold, let's cuddle. Snow is falling, winter is calling. Hot cocoa season. Oh, that's cute, that snowman. You are snow cute. There's snow unlike you. And the back is the back of the tags. And here are some cut aparts. This one's called Journal Elements. So perfect for your mini albums, your traveler's notebooks, even for scrapbooks. So you could totally use this at Christmas time, especially like the ones with the holly, even the pine trees. But this goes nicely for all winter too. Oh, that's a pretty gingham. Love that color. And then we have this page here, which is three by four elements, nice cut aparts. Show you all of them. Stay warm and snuggle up. Oh, so cold. Aren't these colors pretty? They're so like vibrant. And that's the back of that one. Oh, nice. The green roses and like black pine um, branches, pine cones. Here are some more cut aparts. This is two by two slash four by four elements. Did I say the name of this one? Yeah. Okay. So it's got the bigger ones and then the smaller ones and then the bigger ones again. Look at this snowman with his snow cones cart. That's adorable. Warm and cozy. Oh, I would wear that sweater. Magic of winter, snowy days, chill out, snuggle up, let it snow. Hello winter, snow happy, let it snow. Snow vibes, tis the season to sparkle. Adorable. And that's the back of that one. Nice foliage. Here are the bigger ones. These are, what, three by four? Four by six elements. So yeah, these are really big. Also take up a whole card front for you if you want, or album page. There's a hot cocoa cart, how cute is that? And ice skating gear. And then the back is that pretty plaid. And then these must be the stickers. Yep, so it's got all the sentiments on the bottom, perfect to add to your tags and things like that. 
And then the scalloped uh, or sticker here, you could trim to fit your cards or album pages. And then all the different elements. That snowman, he's just so cute. So is that bear. Snowman, mittens, hot cocoa, happiness. And that is one sticker. Oh, that's cute, the candle in the jar. There are little tabs. So yeah, isn't that adorable? Looking forward to crafting with that next month after Christmas. Not next month, January, it's still November. And then I got this too. I haven't gotten rub-ons from Simple Stories before. I don't know if that's new or what, but they're rub-ons, two six by eight transfer sheets. And I do like to use these on, on cards. I think they'd look really nice and not very sticker-like. Sometimes you don't wanna see a whole big sticker, you know? So it comes with this page here. Want to build a snowman, all the different like um, designs, edge designs, and then snowflakes and banners, some words. Comes with the stick to rub them on. And then the other side is this one. So super cute. Oh, what fun. Love the colors. So I got that, and then I also got these, the enamel dots. They're glitter enamel dots from the same collection. Look at that navy blue, isn't that pretty? That's a gorgeous sparkle on those. And a nice clear pink, the aqua, a lighter blue, and then a coral pink too. So it comes with 60 of them. So yep, those are from uh, scrapbook.com. And let's see, I wanted to show, oh, I went to Marshall's today. It is Wednesday before Thanksgiving, but I had to run out and get wine and a few things I forgot at the supermarket. So I stopped into Marshall's and I found this Hello Kitty vanity vacuum, but I figured you could use it for your craft room, right? So it's so cute. And this was only $7.99, I think. Yeah, $7.99. So I took it out of the box and I put batteries in it to make sure it worked. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? It's got the little brush brushes at the bottom and then it comes with this little like um, a hose kind of thing that you could attach to it if you want to. And this way it'll just, you know, suck up like everything at once. If you have like a, you know, like a trail of glitter or something, or you could just go like this. So you just press this button. It needed two AA batteries. So put those in and yeah, isn't that adorable? So I bought myself a present today. And let's see what else is going on. Oh, I made this cute charcuterie board tag. Um, I actually had some time to just, you know, make something I felt like making, which was really fun. So I made this tag and I'll tell you all about the things that I used for it. Isn't that so cute? You guys probably recognize this recipe. This is from my um, free PDF file. Lots of you have emailed me to ask for the files. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you like it. And if you don't have this file that has this, this recipe on it, in addition to three other cookie recipes, just send me an email, um, which is always listed in the description box, asking for the recipe PDF, and I'll reply to you and attach it. But anyway, I printed it out, and then I die cut it with this, this rectangle die that I have. And then the charcuterie board tag comes from Scrap Diva Designs. It's one of my favorite uh, die sets of all time. And this is the largest charcuterie board in the set. It comes with, I think, four or five of them. And then it comes with this outer piece too. So I use the, the biggest one and then the outer piece. And I, I um, there is a hole there, but I did add a eyelet with my crocodile. And then these gingerbread, aren't those adorable? I hauled those recently. Those I got from Impression Obsession and this Ginger Cookie, that's the name of the die set. This was designed by Anna White. Hi, Anna, if you're watching. Oh, when I saw this on your channel, I knew I had to have it because of that cute face on that gingerbread cookie. Isn't that adorable? And the way I made the eyes, the die itself, this is the die set that it comes with. It cuts out the little eyes there, if you could see that. So you can even leave them in because sometimes they don't pop out all the way. But I popped mine out and then I cut a piece of black glossy paper with just, I just put a little piece over the face and ran through my die cutting machine so the little eyes were available and I just glued those on so I didn't have to worry about, you know, trying to get my marker correct or whatever. I just used the, um, you know, I just paper piece them a little bit. And then I used some of my um, 
oh, what's that? Um, the chalk that I have to, to color the cheeks, Jane Davenport. Um, so I used those. And then I used some glue and some glitter on the um, edges of the gingerbread to, you know, make a little icing. And then that heart comes from the die set too. So a super cute little die. And it's about, in case you're wondering how big this guy is, it's about one and, now why can't I figure this out? Not even one and three quarters about one and three quarters top to bottom. Sorry, I've been very busy baking and cleaning and we have our, our bathroom is being remodeled currently as well. So I just, yeah, <laughs> I can't think straight. Anyway, this is about one and three eighths inches across. So I made two of those. I also cut this out of some brown foam and then the outer layer I cut out of a darker brown and then the inside layer I cut out of almond cream. And I did use some Distress Oxide and Vintage Photo, as always, to make it look a little baked. And I love those cookies. And then these little cookie cutters, aren't those so cute? Those are from my friend Deb, who is Helen's Kid One. Hi, hi Deb, if you're watching. She had sent me um, a care package or happy mail with the, this die set in it. And this is the first time I'm using them. Aren't those cute little cookie cutters? I cut them out of some silver paper, that same paper I use for, you know, like um, most metal things that I'm making, and just glued those onto the um, onto the tag in various places. I thought it was a really cute touch. And then this die set, or this die here, is from another one of Erica's die sets, and that is called the um, Heart Circle Nesting Set. I'm not sure if it's available. I think it is. It might actually be on sale, to tell you the truth. But I will link these two die sets down below um, from Scrap Diva Designs in case you are interested. And she's having a, a Black Friday sale, by the way, on today, on Black Friday and tomorrow. And if you use the code BLKFRI20, you'll get 20% off of your order of $25 or more. Um, it doesn't apply to bundles. I know that. Maybe not previously discounted items. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I'll link, you know, I always have Erica's link in my uh, in my description box too. And I will put that coupon code. Usually, um, you know, I have my coupon code, which is strawberry cream, and you'll get 10% off. But for these two days, you get 20% off. So I think that's great if you are looking for some Scrap Diva Designs products. And I also added a little 1 8 inch uh, ribbon bow that I made and just glued that on. And this twine, it's really nice. It's, it's like natural color and it has some like uh, metallic red thread running through it. And that's the back of that. The papers that I used are from Maha Designs, the, the one with the star on it. And then this, the one that I use for the doily is also from Maha Designs. This one I just printed out on some white paper and just inked it up. But oh, what, what a cute tag, right? I think this would make a really cute ornament like on a kitchen tree or just, you know, after it's a gift tag. I'll probably use it for a gift tag for this Christmas. So I did want to show you that. And I think that's all I wanted to share with you. Um, yeah, that's about it. I went to New York City last weekend to visit my dad. He lives in Brooklyn with my stepmom. So we had a great time. And then my sister came in too. And she and I went out to dinner on Saturday night in Manhattan. And we went to see a show. We went to see Six, which is on Broadway. And it was so fun. It's a, it's a story, a musical about Henry VIII's six wives. And it's really modern, um, amazing choreography and singing. It's a, a like one set and there are four female musicians on stage with the actresses and that's it. Like they don't change a set. They don't, you know, change much at all. But just everything about it is just amazing to watch and really fun. And uh, yeah, it was it was great, great music. And we had a good time. So uh, anyway, that's I think that's all I want to share with you. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Um, like I said, I'm going to be busy all weekend with company. So I'll probably get back to you guys next week. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Have fun shopping. If you're doing any shopping, I've already started doing some online, so I'm sure I'll have some stuff to share with you. I'm gonna do another like um, home decor haul pretty soon. I, I have some stuff building up that's just too too big to you know show you in this format. So I'll do the uh, you know face forward format again. All right, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll leave the information that I can down below. Don't forget about Scrap Diva Design sale this weekend. 
and I will talk to you guys soon. And uh, yeah, happy weekend. Bye guys.